Hi, my name is Carl, and we have another first look at another knife here. Purchased this at Sports Academy, and if I remember correctly, it was around $10. So, it's not going to be your highest grade knife out there, but I believe the Ozark Trail from Walmart is going to be a little bit less in the quality side. But, don't know yet. Haven't opened this up. Never opened up one of these brands. This is a Magellan Bolt Folding Knife. They see the logo right here. 7.75 inches. Overall length, 7.75 inches right here. Here's the back side of this blister pack. Stainless steel drop point blade. Wood stainless steel handle, pocket clip, blade length 3.25 inches, overall length 7.75 inches. Thumb stud spring, oh, thumb stud opening, 4.5 inch hardwood and stainless steel handle, lantern lock, 3.25 inch stainless steel blade, drop point blade. Down here at the bottom, Made in China, not unexpected. Distributed by Academy, which is be Sports Academy, where I bought this from. And there's the address in Katy, Texas, academy.com. If you want to pause this and scan this barcode right here. Keep out of reach of children and all the other yada 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 safety stuff that OSHA makes them put on this packaging. Hmm. Let's open this thing up. Let me see this look this way. Not bad looking. It's kind of not my favorite. Sure, far from the worst. I have a somewhere over here. I have a razor knife to open this thing up. Here it is. This is a Husky brand Home Depot razor knife. I should be using a another folder knife to put open up in a different video, but I don't have it next to me right now, so let's just I don't plan on taking this back. So let's just go ahead and slice that all the way down. Go this way. Slice that all the way down. Back down this way. Let's go right here and just slice this and slice this and See if we can pull this out of here. Here we go. Here we go. Throw this in the trash can. Here we go. Not bad looking. Not sure it isn't my favorite, like I said earlier. But it's not bad looking at all. It looks like this thumb stud might be able to take it out pair of pliers. Here's the pocket clip. Pretty strong. Strong enough. Bolsters aren't really too scratched up. I like the wood handle. It's very smooth on the pins. Very smooth. In fact, you can't even feel them on there. You can feel this one, but it's not not anything you can't deal with. Here's the Miguel and logo. Takes this little safety point off here in the safety guard. How's it look? Let's go right here. Put this piece of paper. And there we go. You can see down that center of that blade. Not too bad. You can see how far the liner lock goes over. Just over halfway across the blade, which isn't too bad. Very easy to press to close it. The uh, I'm gonna call this a um, rivet. Close 
There you go, you hear that snap. Zero blade play. None at all. Doesn't move at all. Not the thickest knife I have, but sure isn't the thinnest. Has a hollow ground. Pretty comfortable, really. In fact, I think this is just as comfortable as the buck knife I have that I carry my EDC. This might, I might carry this for a couple of weeks and see how I like it. Let's break this in a little bit. Work this in and out. There we go. Easy to open. It will get easier, of course. It is to get started is kind of tough. Because the thumb stud is even with a steel bolster right there, so it's kind of hard to get your faint thumb in there to push it out. It does snap open like that. But I don't like that. That's that's a drawback right there. I can't do it from here, but I can do it from down here with no problem. I just can't get my thumb up under there to push it out. Try that again. Yep, snaps open real easy. Real easy. In fact, I like that. No issues at all with that. Where does it close this way? Snap point. Very, very low right there. Snap point is right. There. Hmm. So just first look at this. If the thumb stud was a little bit longer, or if this was a little bit shallower, right here, much easier to open. Much easier. Hmm. Okay, let's see how sharp this thing is. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't expecting a lot because it will cut, but it's not really super sharp as it could be. So, I'm going to take my Wicked Edge sharpener, put an edge on this thing before I carry it around for a couple of weeks. Let's see how it goes. Give me about two or three weeks, or whatever it takes. I'm going to give a follow-up review on this and see if I still like it, or if this is going to be thrown into the collection. Oh, look at this right here. The scales are on the liner right there. No issues with that. And in the end, there's no gaps. Anyway. Go to Sports Academy if you want to look at these. They might have them in stock. Who knows? My name's Carl, and I do appreciate you spending your time with us.